Welcome back, everybody. Dren Six Wait Plays. We're playing Baldur's Gate 3 here. Um, I'm slowly but surely trying to level everybody up. So I'm going to take Lazelle. I'm listening. Okay. Uh, do you think the egg is doing well? The egg grows ever warmer. The hum of life within it louder. It may yet hatch, though not soon by my estimation. In its heat lives stimulation, and in its throbbing, exhilaration. An effigy of Githyanki future, <laughs> incubated inside a fragile shell. <sighs> You're getting attached. Should I start calling you Mommy Lazelle? to roast you over a campfire <laughs> using my blade as a spit. <laughs> but it is true that I feel some manner of responsibility for this unhatched whelp. After we free Orpheus, we can revisit the matter. If the egg hatches beforehand, well, we will shield it from the Lich Queen's zealots. Whatever may come, I will not let Vlacketh poison the fledgling with lies. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, I can't ask her to join me, huh? She keep it in camp away from danger? A camp once visited by a scheming devil is no safe haven for the unhatched. It has afforded us as much disquiet as it has rest. Leave the egg with me. There's no need for further discussion. Yeah, I'm not planning on actually taking it away from you, hon. I just wanted to... <laughs> I just wanted you to join me so I could... I'm listening. Okay. Uh... Uh, that, uh, no, no. I'd like you to join me. Uh, should we talk about Orpheus right away? Let's get What's this. about him? Uh, yeah, on to other matters. Very well. I don't really want to get into that. That's We'll do that in the next long rest. Uh, I need you to join me because I need... Because full. Yeah, yeah, You'll yeah. need to make room. That's not a problem. You will take Asterion's place. Well chosen. Okay. Now I need to find Halson. Where the hell is he? There's Halson. Why is it I can never find everybody? I like Asterion. Who's down here? There's nobody here. Where's Halson? There he is. There's my buddies. Go talk to Halson. Go talk to Halson. Worms crossing. The gaping moor of the city. Nature has little control over what happens beyond that bridge. Have you heard from Thanral since we moved on? I have. He speaks to me during my nightly meditations. He is well. And Oliver also. At times they are one, and at others they divide. Easier for playing, perhaps. And the land thrives also. I doubt you would recognize it. Perhaps one day... You and I can both return and see it for ourselves. Yeah, maybe. All right, I don't need you the. You are blessed with several companions, as it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just Perhaps my... dismiss one if you require me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, top out with Jehera. I'm with you. Okay. 
Let's go. Let's go level up. Request 17. She's got on. I probably have to give her some better stuff. The armor is really good. That's really good because she's all psionic based. That's good. I need to get her some rings. And some equipment, of course. What is it? Oh, this heavy armor. She can't wear that. Okay. I'm going to have to put that in camp. Anyway, uh, she just not worry about inventory. I'll do that offline. Uh, she's going to level up. She's going to be straight up fighter. Tenth level. Maybe, if it loads. <laughs> fighter, level 10. She's up to 94 hit points. Subclass feature. Improved combat superiority. The size of your team is increased to 1d10. So instead of rolling 1d8, she's rolling 2d10. And she got two maneuvers. Two more maneuvers. Okay, we've got menacing attack. She gave an additional 1d10. She had sweeping attack. She had fainting attack. She had disarming attack. What does Commander Strike do? To strike a foe, the ally uses a reaction on their next turn to make a weapon attack. Okay. What does Rally do? Expend a Spirity Die to grant an ally 8 temporary hit points, bolstering their resolve. Okay. Misses you with a melee attack. Spend a Spirity Die to retaliate with a powerful strike that deals an additional 1d10 damage. And Trip Attack deals 1 additional d10 damage and possibly knocks the target prone. Target must be large or smaller. So you knock people down. You can evade attacks by imposing disadvantage on melee attacks against you for a round. It's passive. Okay. Advantage on their next attack roll against the target. Hmm. There's some really nice things. What's precision attack do? To add result to an attack roll. I like the idea of just evasive footwork. She can dance away from some of them. And then I'm thinking um, this requisite that she gets to retaliate with a reaction. So I like that. That's what we're going to do. Probably wrong. Leave me in comments. Tell me how badly I'm building all these guys. Next up should be Halson. Straight up Druid 10, it's going to be easy, kind of. Oh, he got a bunch of things. You can wild shape into an Air Myrmidon, Earth Myrmidon, Fire Myrmidon, Water Myrmidon. So you can become some kind of an elementally thingy. And you can wild shape into a Dilophosaurus. You can become a dinosaur too. I can have two dinosaurs. <laughs> I can have two dinosaurs. Uh, what kind of trip does he want? Uh, I think I'm going to have him go the same way with resistance. It just seems like that might be the thing to be going to be running into a lot of crap coming from people, magic users and stuff, right? And for spells, restoration, ice storm. What else has he got at level five here? Got a heat metal, wall of fire, conjure elemental. Yeah, and long strider, daylight. Lesser restoration. When you have greater restoration, instead of taking lesser restoration, let's take something a little different. Um, so you have moving, he has moonbeam. 
Uh, I don't have anybody with Gust of Wind. I don't know what Gust of Wind... Clears all clouds and pushes creatures back 17 feet, forcing them off balance. Yeah, I think we'll go... Get rid of that. Let's take Gust of Wind. Let's take something different here. Alright, and that's Halson. Now I gotta go get back my other three people. And then we'll be done with this. Uh... Okay, now I have to go get back the originals. Um, where's my girl? Where's my girl? There's, there's magic user. There's those guys. That's my girlfriend. Where's uh, Carlac? Where's Carlac? I'm not seeing Carlac. That's Lazel. Oh, there's Carlac. She's over here. Hi. Right. Hey, Mama. Soldier, this is it. We're almost to the city. First through Worms Crossing, then on to the lower city. Yeah. Oh, it smells the exact same. Ten years on, but still home. Incredible. <laughs> uh. Huh. No room in your party. That's not a problem. What should I do? You're gonna take Lizelle's place. <laughs> For now. Now we're talking. Actually, I'm gonna end up having to swap her back in, but I need to get you in here to get your uh, experience points up. Who's this? I gotta take her in there too. Jeez, I gotta take everybody to every place. I need everybody everywhere. Um, I need my girlfriend. Where's my girlfriend? Where you at, girlfriend? Where are you? You're down here. Uh, nope, that's not you. Where's my girlfriend? Oh, she's over here. Right by Magic User. Her and Gail hanging out. She's gonna tap. We could be inside the city walls before long. And I could be back where this all started. Yep. All right, we need to talk to her a little bit. Uh, a place called the House of Grief is the cover for their presence in Baldur's Gate. Then that's where we need to go. My parents are in there somewhere. Yeah, we'll try and save them. Oh, wait, wait. Don't stop. Good. I was just starting to miss the sound of your voice. Just, just, just be run away. Okay, let's talk about our relationship. Do I get a kiss? Of course. May I have a kiss? I suppose you've earned it. So we get a kissy scene. There you go, guys. All those that you want to see kissy scenes. I haven't kissed her since she changed her hair. Oh, it's a little different. This is a little different. Well, that's a little different. Cool. They changed it up. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, don't definitely don't want to end things. This is getting to, this is being interesting. Okay. Uh, we need to turn to other matters because I need you to join me. A bit crowded, don't you think? Nope. You'll need to swap out someone if you want me. Not a problem. You can change. Uh, Lead the way then. Well, and then Halson will take. Uh, Gail, you gotta take uh, Halson's place. We'll have your little thing. Civilization beckons at last. It's no water deep, but Baldur's Gate is a respectable <laughs> runner-up. Mister, <sighs> close third. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing would give me greater pleasure. Which of our esteemed company am I stepping in for? Halson. Back in the thick of things at last. <laughs> oh, the great second runner-up, runner or at least a close third. <laughs> I'm sorry, I find this some of the stuff they do just hilarious. All right, uh, let's... 
cab thing in this. Let's start with Carlac. She's gonna be simple. <laughs> oh, Gail. You just tickle me sometimes. Level 10 Barbarian. She can change her beast heart and gain the passive animal aspect. What? Okay, so she just got a bunch of hit points. She's like at 105. Now, do I want to just keep with the bear? The bear is the one that you can do resistance all damage except psychic damage. It's just, there's no reason not to have her be the bear. She just keeps, you know, she runs in and gets speed on. The one I really, the other one I really like is the, is it the elk? Or the, the eagle? Because she can do a divining strike. She can get range. In Baldur's Gate, I don't think we're going to have that many chances to be jumping off of balconies and stuff to jump on people. So I'm thinking that the bear heart is going to probably be best for her in there because of the resistance to damage. And then she gets an animal aspect. What the heck is this? Oh, aspect. Of, okay, I see. She gets another one. She has aspect of the bear. Fuses you with strength. Carrying capacity is doubled and you have advantage on strength checks. Okay, the chimpanzee. Resistance to falling damage and throwing camp supply. What, what is this? Throwing camp supplies blinds targets. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> so always give her a pile of, of food to throw at people. She can start a food fight. Uh, movement speed increases by 10 feet while standing in water-based services. and slippery services, you also have advantage on saving throws against being knocked prone. Okay. Enhances your eye sight. You can see in the dark up to 40 feet and gain advantage on perception checks. You can always do that. She gains advantage on perception check. Uh, if you use aspect of the elk, she's not. This is a... Okay. The honey badger. If you're poisoned, frightened, or charmed at the start of your turn, you have a 50% chance to begin raging without expending a rage charge. <laughs> Uh, dashing grants you to every hit points. You can do twice your preferring level. Aspect of the stallion. Fire ash. It refuses you with unrelenting ferocity. You add, you add an additional strength modifier to attack rolls against bleeding or poison targets and gain proficiency in survival. Does she already have survival? Oh, it won't let me. Let's see, initiative and can't be surprised. Athlete. And can no longer be charmed. Okay, so she can't be charmed, so I don't need to use that. I don't need about that. Proficiency. Proficiency and stealth should never be really stealthy. And use Aspect of the Wolf. You also maim it for one turn. When you attack a bleeding or poison target, you also maim it for one turn. Well, I kind of like... If you're poisoned, frightened, or charmed... You can't be charmed. So it would be poisoned or frightened. Somebody does a bleeding hit or a poison somebody, which I tend to do with my arrows. She gains proficiency in survival and she gets to add extra strength against that particular creature. I don't know. The chimpanzee is just funny. <laughs> Gain resistance to falling damage and throwing camp supplies blinds targets. <laughs> Here, throw a banana at him and blind him. Uh, uh, I don't know. She strikes me as a big teddy bear, but honey bear makes honey badger kind of makes sense for her. We're gonna go honey honey badger. What the heck? 
<laughs> I don't know. Leave me comments, folks, on what you think I should have taken there, because I don't know. I can always respect them. I have more than enough money to respect everybody if you guys think I should. But it just seems funny that, you know, frighten her and there's a 50% chance she's going to rage out on you. So That sounds kind of like Carl. Like, scare me bad enough, I'm going to rage out on you. Now, this is my girlfriend. She's going to get fifth level spell slot. She gets to pick up a cantrip. What'd she get up here? Divine Intervention. You can cast Divine Intervention to invoke your god's aid. Once used, this can never be used again. It can never be used again? Never be used again? Oi! That's a little drastic. Once per your lifetime? Man, don't misclick by accident. Uh, the cantrips that she can take. Symmetry. Intimidation. That's a light cantrip and blade ward. Um, I thought she already had this. I'm really confused. I need to check her spells. What spells do you have? Okay, here we go again. Get off the cure wounds. Sanctuary, yes. This, yes. This, yes. One, two, three, four. I'm not so sure about the blesses. Four there. She's got a spiritual weapon, a lesser restoration, silence, like those. For her three, she's got daylight and the spirit guardians. Yep. This is her other two is a major healing. And then she's got flame strike at five. She does not, and at four, she has guardian of faith. So fours or fives. Death Ward, Freedom of Movement, Banishment. She's got Flame Strike, Insect Plague, Greater Restoration, Planar Binding, Spell of Good and Evil. Aberration, Celestials, Elementals, Fae, Fiends, and Undead have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. So it's Mass Cure Wounds. At least a Soothing Hum of Energy. And a contagion. Um, I think we're going to take... Uh, for now, we're just going to put a glyph of warding in there. I have to check her what spell she gets. Uh, from a cantrip standpoint, I don't know what she has that she can... Take, um, she doesn't do much intimidation because that charisma is eight. So it's either blade ward or light. Piercing and slashing for two turns. It takes an action. It takes an action to do any of these things. Uh, let's have her take blade ward. And then Gale's going to be the last dude up. Wizard level 10. He's up all the way to 72 hit points. Which means it'll, it'll, it'll have to two-shot him now. Got two spells and a cantrip. And subclass, Empowered Evocation. Your grasp of Evocation Market has tightened. And you can add your Intelligence Modifier to damage rolls with any Evocation spells. Oh, cool. So he gets an extra four damage. Cantrip... Shocking Grass, Blade Ward, Poison Spray, Acid Splash, Dancing Lights, Minor Illusion, and True Strike. Um, poison Spray. I almost want to take Shocking Grass. 3 to 18. Here's 24. You have access to both. Okay, so he already knows that one. So, maybe go for, this is, this is like touch.
Uh, let's do a poison spray. Okay, level five stuff. Wall of stone, seeming, hold monster, dominate person, cone of cold, and cloud kill. Mm. What other spells would I like to pick up? A lot of these things I can pick up with my scrolls. I don't know what I have for scrolls. <laughs> I don't want to, like, you know, pick up something and it's like, oh, I have a scroll for it and get, take something that I don't have a scroll for. I don't think I have a scroll of seeming. Old monster. Cool. Cloud kill. Large cloud that inflicts 5 to 40 point damage per turn. You can reposition the cloud every turn. That might be good to hold on a flank. Let's take a cloud kill. Stone skin takes a half times all nine magical damage. Polymorph turn them into a sheep. Greater invisibility. Door, confusion, blight. Uh, I think we'll go with hold a monster. I think I have scrolls for this. I should have really sat down and did all my looking up for scrolls. Okay, that's going to be what we're going to take for now. He's done. All right, we're all done here. Get out of here. It's my time. And I'm at 27 minutes, so we're going to stop here. Um, so the next thing we need to do um, is figure out who we're going to take and and what we're going to go do first and second and so on. So I'm going to do that offline. I will sit down and write myself notes on who I need to take to what place. Because <laughs> like I need to take the dagger and... Uh, Lazel to Sheres's Kratz. Kratz. There's another tavern that I have to take Jahira to. Darren something or other. And then, uh. I need to have Asterion running around with me to in some of these bars to help find his, uh. His siblings or whatever, so we can progress his story. So I may here initially go in with Lazel, Shadowheart, and Asterion. And then later on, I might have to trade out Sh Shadowheart for Jahera to go meet her people. It's a, it's a puzzle game that I have to try and figure out how to make it work. So I get all the right people going into all the right bars, you know. So I will have to look through my journal and I will make myself notes to try and make sure that I, when I come back and do this again, I should have a plan, maybe, kind of, sort of, possibly. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like see, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notify bell. Be notified, upload videos and schedule streams. Do have two other none. Um, uninformed playthroughs going through. One's called Battletech. Uh, basically, mech warrior, you know, fighting big robots across the known galaxy. Um, I kind of understand the mechanics, but not fully, and I get a lot of help from my audience. I get comments about, hey, try this, try that, uh, build this way, that kind of thing. Um, I'd appreciate that from anybody that wants to drop some comments here on my Baldur's Gate playthrough. Uh, because it is uninformed, I am not looking at anything in the wiki. I am not looking at anything in... Uh, like people's videos and stuff. So if there's like something you've seen me do that I'm kind of constantly doing something wrong, like in combat, that I not remember to do something, if you leave me a comment and say, hey, dude, do this, you know, before you start combat or, you know, every time you're in your first round of combat, you got to make sure you do this, this, and this. Um, if it comes in a comment, you know, if I didn't go look it up and I didn't think of it myself, if somebody gives me a comment about it, then I can use it. But um, I haven't gotten too many comments about that. So um, I'd appreciate it, especially on my builds. 
because I'm really not doing, I'm sure I'm not picking the right things, so to speak. They say there's no wrong way to play this, but I'm pretty sure there's a better way to play it than what I'm doing. Um, and then the other one I have is uh, Rogue Trader by Alcat Games, and that's the same kind of thing. Uh, only people that, you know, only hints that I get are what people drop me in my comment section, so um, I'm stum stumbling through that. That one's in Chapter 3, just like this one, uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, that one, I think, actually has five chapters. I think Baldur's Gate 3, this is the last chapter, but um, I think there's this chapter and then, like, the ending sequence or whatever. Um, so, yeah, leave me comments on the stuff. I also am doing a Xenonauts 2, which is in early access. Uh, they're at Milestone 4, 4.22. Doing a playthrough there. You should see a bunch of those videos come out shortly uh, after this one gets released, um, or maybe even before. I don't know when I'll get my release schedule going right. Um, and that's just, I'm playing as the, like normal, you know, soldier level. It's like the normal level here, uh, balanced or whatever. And I'm not trying to um, min max, you know, I'm not trying to be the, the perfect tactician or the perfect. Uh, strategism or anything like that are trying to give you the perfect way to play the game it's more like here's what you got this is the things you need to think about this is the things you need to try and get done and just sort of stumbling on through it that way i have played it a lot so i mean i could try to do much more of a you know in-depth angles here and angles there and how to set yourself up to shoot and whatever but i find it more enjoyable for just sort of talking you through what i'm doing kind of playthrough kind of what i'm doing here it's like i'm learning everything here um, if I do another Baldur's Gate playthrough or another Rogue Trader playthrough or whatever, it will be much more of an immersive, okay, I'm doing this because last time I did stuff, it didn't work out the way I wanted to, so I'm going to try it this way, and this is why. And I, I don't know, I find those to be more entertaining than, uh, you know, somebody saying, oh, you have to build this, this, and this, and this order in order to maximize your damage on that. And it's like, yeah, but... I'm not in this quote-unquote to win it. I'm in this to play it. So I want to enjoy what the heck I'm doing. Um, and I also do Saturday morning streams. Uh, this was a fan pick where they they chose to have me play a female monk and trying to romance Tristan, who's one of the main NPCs. And I think I screwed up the Tristan romance, so I am trying to actually look online to see if there's a way I can check for like the romance flags or whatever and see if I can... Make sure that they're all checked off like they should be, because it seems like I'm not getting some dialogue lines that I was expecting to get um, in that romance based on the, the wikis and stuff. So uh, I have to try and hunt down that and see if I can repair the saved game so that it, we can at least continue the romance there, or if I've totally just screwed it up and we'll have to like replay it from, I don't know, four sessions back. And then if that's the case, I'm going to put up a poll uh, for everybody on that particular one to say, do you want me to go back and, and do his romance correctly, or do you want me to just forget about it and finish? So, And I'll leave that up to my fan base there. Okay, and I'll probably do that for other things when I get to certain positions where it's like I have to make a serious choice. I tend to put up polls on my uh, channel and say, people vote, and I get, you get six to... Anywhere from four to eight people will vote on something, and then I just take that and, and run with it. So sign up for the channel, and you won't miss any of that stuff. And I'll see you when we get back. Got to talk to my pets, too, before we leave. All right. All right. I'm Dren608. Until we meet again, stay safe, and bye-bye.